So in this question, a nationalized bank has found that daily balance available in its saving account follows a normal distribution with a mean of 500 and mean value is given as 500. So we have a value of mu is known to us. So value of mu is equal to with a standard division of rupees 50. So we are given the value of sigma equal to 50. And you want to calculate the percentage of saving that is the probability of account holders who maintain an average average daily balance of rupees more than 500 that is the value of x so he has given the value of x equal to 500 so we can calculate in this case the value of z so z is given by x minus mu divided by sigma now 500 minus 500 will be 0 and recall that probability of z equal to 0 is 50 percent so your answer is 50 percent probability of z equal to 0 is equal to 50 percent so z equal to the area on the left hand side is only 50 percent suppose he says that the balance required is more than 600 then we can calculate the value of z so this time x value is equal to 600 mu value is equal to 500 and sigma value is known to us is 50 so we have 100 divided by 50 so this time we have z equals to 2 value so probability of z equal to 2 will be 0.5 plus 0.95 divided by 2 so what is 0.95 you recall that for z equal to 2 for z equal to 2 we have 95.44 area so 50% will be divided on this side either on left side or either on right side the annual precision data of a city is normally distributed with a mean and standard deviation of 1200 we have to calculate the probability that the annual precision will be equal to 1200 so this time we are given the value of sigma we are given the value of mu and we are given the value of x mu is given as 1000 standard deviation sigma is given as 200 and we are interested in x value of 1200 we want to find out probability for 1200 so x value desired value is 1200 so we have z equals to x minus mu divided by sigma so this is uh, 1200 minus 1000 is 200 by 200 is 1 now recall your normal distribution so this graph is symmetrical about y axis and recall for sigma equal to 1 you are going to cover 65 percent of area so this total area will be equal to 0.65 it means that a half of this one will be 0.325 approximately so this area will be equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus 0 0.32 or 0 0.34 so probability of z equal to 1 is approximately equals 24 percent now check the answer naturally answer is not less than 50 percent this is not possible exactly 50 percent is also not possible and equal to 100 is not possible so what the gate expected that you should give the answer of 75 percent so even if you don't know the exact value you can give, guess the approximate value but actual value is equal to 84 percent that we can calculate now recall something in the part cpm in the PERT CPM, we used to calculate the variance along a critical path. So variance of a critical path or assembly. So let's say that we have A to B, B to C is a critical path. And let these two paths as sigma 1 and sigma 2 has a standard deviation. And if you want to calculate the variance for this critical path, then the variance of the first part will be sigma 1 square. And the variance of the second part is sigma 2 square. So if we have an assembly of two parts, the first part is manufactured with 50 plus minus certain value and second part is manufactured with 70 plus minus certain value and you want to calculate the total assembly variance. So back to the critical model, the total variance from A to C or the standard deviation from A to C is basically summation of all variance and then you have to take the under root. So it is under root of variance 1 plus variance 2. So variance you can add. Once you add the variance, then you can take the under root of variance that will be equal to your standard deviation. Suppose instead of two part, we have third part also. Then you have to add one more value of variance here. The variance of the third part. So it will be variance of three. But your equation of sigma will remain same. That is equal to under root of variance. So we have one recent question appear in 2017 here. With a standard deviation of a linear dimension of P and Q are three micron and four micron. When assembled, you have to find out a standard deviation of the resultant dimension. 
So standard deviation of the part P is 3 micron. So variance will be equals to 9 for part P. And the standard deviation for part Q is 4 micron. So variance of part Q is equal to 4 square is 16. Now when assembled, you have to add the variance. So variance of after assembly PQ will be variance of P plus variance of Q that equal to 9 plus 16 that is 25. So in that case if you want to calculate the standard deviation you have to just take the under root of PQ variance so under root of 25. So answer is equals to 5. So tricky question is they can ask sometimes.